Let me paint a picture. You are a fantastic, talented, and experienced engineer, but you've had a long day, and the boss man asks you to design some circuitry quickly. He wants you to turn water into wine, or 12 volts into five. And you don't care for efficiency, so you choose a linear reg. I've chosen the AZ117C-80J. Let's get designing. With linear regulators, the output voltage is equal to the voltage reference, which is 1.25 for this reg, multiplied by one plus R2 over R1. Rearranging, this is our equation for the resistor ratio. R2 over R1 equals V out of the V ref minus one, which is five volts over 1.25 volts minus one equals three. Let's pick 15 kilo ohms for R1, which means R2 is 45. So let's just choose 47 to sit within E12 values. We need some capacitance on the input and output, so let's give the input one mic and the output 2.2. That seems fair. If you were to create this circuit, it won't work. The output voltage will be 10.8 volts. Remember, we were aiming for five. Did you spot the issue? Would your mates have spot the issue? Would your engineering manager spot that issue at a glance? Katie would have found that. What? Katie would have found that. Let's try it out. I export the netlist, which explains what connects to what, and I export the bill of materials too. I upload those two files to Katie, and in a matter of minutes, it's extracted all the important bits from every component's data sheet, including the equation that governs the output voltage of the linear reg. It uses this equation and the values of the resistors I've chosen to calculate the output voltage of the linear reg, where it's going to find the problem. In reality, there's an extra error term caused by adjustment pin current. If we'd read the data sheet properly, we'd know to pick a small resistance value for R2, but in a rush, we chose something far too large. This is a design ruining error. It created a voltage offset of more than five volts. Inexcusable, if you ask me. But the KD AI schematic assistance tool would have found this. Also, it would have warned you those capacitors weren't large enough. If you're interested in seeing a live demo and getting a license to try it out yourself, I'm hosting a webinar with the CEO on the 9th of September, and you can sign up now.